as you can see, my skin has gotten so much better. I am still in awe of myself. <laughs> So today's video is very exciting. It's my skincare routine while I am on Accutane, I suppose. Even though this probably will be the skincare routine that I do when I'm off Accutane. So if you guys have been around here for a while, you would probably know that I uploaded a skincare routine about just over a year ago. I believe it was in like August of last year. And I had managed to clear my skin up using those products. However, since my acne is very internal and all to do with my hormones, that skincare routine no longer works for me because of the issues going on inside inside my body. Yay! So yes, my skincare routine has changed, but I just realized that the products that I'm using are a lot more inexpensive than last time, so that's a plus. And I just want to say a big thank you to Shopback for sponsoring today's video. So I've mentioned Shopback before on my Instagram, and if you're not sure what it is, it's pretty much a platform that you can shop through all your favorite websites like the Iconic, Priceline, Sephora, Woolworths, Princess Polly, like they have so many different brands. I believe it's over 500. And yeah, you basically shop like you would normally on any other website, except everything that you buy, you get cash back on. So I use the example on my Instagram of say, booking a hotel for $1,000 and then you get 6% cash back on that $1,000. Meaning you get $60 back that you can transfer into your bank account, into your PayPal, whatever you want. And it's awesome because it's actual money, it's not credit towards a store. So you can take that money and spend it on whatever you want. It's like a reward for shopping. <laughs> it's so cool, but I'm really sad because I only found out about Shopback when they reached out to me and I was like, why was I in the dark about this? I could have saved so much money because I am a shopaholic. I buy so many ridiculous things online. It's actually so dumb. And if you're wondering like, how does this work? Is this even legal? Like it sounds a bit sketchy because I was kind of like that. I thought, how in the world are they giving us like free money? Uh, but to put it simply, Shopback basically receives commission from each of the websites. It's kind of like how YouTubers do sponsorships, except they give the commission to their customers. Isn't that just lovely? So I highly recommend you guys download the Shopback app because it's so easy because I do all my shopping on my phone. I hardly ever go on my laptop. And if you happen to be interested in Shopback, there'll be a link in the description that will give you a $10 sign-up bonus. And to top it all off, a lot of the products that I show you, you can actually get from Priceline. And Priceline is on the Shopback app. We're all winning here. And in my next video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup look using some of the products that I recently picked up in the Shopback Sephora sale. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now, but everything will be listed down below regarding Shopback, as well as all the products that I will be featuring in this video. If you haven't already watched my acne story or my original skincare routine, I recommend you watch it just so you can kind of get a background of what my skin's gone through, what I've tried, what worked, what didn't work, just so you kind of know the history behind this mug. So if you don't know, I'm currently finishing up my second month on Accutane and I am on a 30 milligram daily dosage. I'm also on the pill Yasmin and I've been on that one for around six months now, I believe. I'm no longer on my antibiotic that I discussed in my skin story video and my skin hasn't like broken out. So I'm very like excited, but I'm also like kind of scared because my period's coming up and I'm like, Oh. Please keep in mind that what works for me may not work for you as always. It's like about everything in life. And like in my skin story, I'm just sharing what works for me. So in my original skincare routine, I wasn't on Accutane. And for my face cleanser, I used the Origins Checks and Balances face wash. I really do still like that. I think I just kind of stopped using it because I couldn't be bothered to go to Mecca and buy it. Plus, it's a little bit expensive. I think it's like $33 or something along those lines. I think I started using the Kate Somerville like acne face wash. I can't remember. I didn't use it for that long. Like, I think I only went through like one bottle. And I actually bought this to just try and get me over the line until I repurchased my actual cleanser. Um, and I ended up really really liking it. This is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Firming Cleanser and it kind of scared me because it says deep clean on the front and firming cleanser and typically if something is a firming cleanser it has alcohol in it which can dry out your skin. However, I love this. It reminds me so much of the Checks and Balances face wash. It literally feels like the exact same texture. It does the exact same thing and I think this is like 10 or 12 dollars depending if you get it on sale or not. It can be even less. I love this. 
this, it doesn't dry out my skin, it just makes it feel clean. And since my skin is quite sensitive at the moment, I don't find that this irritates it in any way. I personally really like to use foaming cleansers because it makes me feel like I'm cleaning my skin. I have like my empty bottle in the shower, so I bought a brand new one because this is, this is my new favorite cleanser. So if you like the checks and balances one, maybe try this one because it's like a third of the price. Now I'm usually not one to use toner. I don't think I used it in my original skincare routine. I can't really remember. But I just wanted something to kind of like, you know, just make sure that I got rid of everything. Because sometimes when you cleanse your skin, you don't necessarily remove everything and you might have dirt still left over. You guys know. But toners in Accutane can be kind of funny because obviously your skin's really sensitive and toners can be a bit harsh. So I just picked up the Simple Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner, 100% alcohol free. I didn't want anything with alcohol in it because my skin is just too sensitive for that at the moment. You can also get this in Priceline. It's so cheap and I love it. It's not going to cure your acne or anything, but it's just a really nice, easy, gentle facial toner. It does not burn my skin at all. And it just gives me that peace of mind that everything is removed. It's got no scent. I just love it doesn't irritate my skin whatsoever. So a lot of the time when you're on Accutane, it's a really good idea to keep your skincare really nice and simple. You don't want to be loading on like different acids or peels. You don't want to be doing any of that because your skin is already going through quite a bit. You don't want to put it through more than it needs to be. So I don't use this every night, but I do probably use it every other night or maybe three times a week. So this is the Time Revolution Night Repair. It's a serum by the brand Misha or Misha. I actually bought this off of Yes Style, which has a lot of Korean skincare and makeup. If you haven't seen my Yes Style haul, I'll just link it up in the eye here. I've actually bought quite a bit of skincare off of there because Korean Korean skincare is really, really good. So looking at what this does, it basically does a whole bunch of things for your skin. It's meant to smooth skin texture, make the skin clear, help ferment, repair skin damage, etc., etc. Just a bunch of really good things for your skin. And I just find whenever I use this, my skin feels very plump and moisturized. It doesn't irritate it because some of my old serum skincare products that I would use now kind of irritate my skin, but this one doesn't. And I really, really like using it. And I just like having some something extra because sometimes you know when you want to pamper yourself and feel extra special with your skin you want to have another step in there so but this is kind of the only serum that I will use like the only extra thing rather than moisturizer or cleanser exfoliator that kind of thing so so for moisturizer I have two different options one of them is also from yes style it is by the brand secret key and it is the rose water base gel cream I love water gel face creams I think they feel so lovely on the skin they just feel so hydrating and like plumping they're a beautiful base for makeup and it's a really nice pink Hello. I'm almost out of this, so I haven't been using it as much. I really like this. However, since my skin's kind of getting a little bit more dry, I haven't been reaching for this as much, but I do still use it as like a base under makeup because it looks absolutely beautiful. Lately, however, I have been loving the Lush Rose Argon Body Conditioner. And you may be like, a body conditioner? Why are you using that on your face? It is honestly life-changing. I am gonna cry when I run out of this. I need to buy a new one like now. It is so good. If you have dry skin, try this out. You only need a little because a little bit goes a long way. It's very, very moisturizing. It's made with all natural ingredients. It doesn't irritate my skin. And it just is so hydrating and moisturizing. If you have this and you've never put it on your face and you have dry skin, try it because it's so good. I am obsessed. So I've been using this one as like a morning moisturizer. And my favorite nighttime oil is of course the ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. <laughs> I absolutely adore this. The Taylor really likes this as well. Um, it's really good at fading scarring and it's just so moisturizing. It doesn't break me out because a lot of different facial oils tend to break me out, which is just... This one doesn't. You can get it at Priceline. It's pretty affordable. It lasts for ages because you only use like three dots on your face and just pat that into your skin. And I have noticed a significant distance... Distance. <laughs> And I have noticed a significant difference in the fading of my acne scars. It's so good. If you break out from a lot of oil and you haven't tried this one, highly recommend. It's really, really good. Also, in my original skincare routine, I used the Vanity Planet Skin Brush. And I still use this. I just don't use it every single night because obviously be a bit too harsh. I probably use this once or twice a week in place of an exfoliator. So if I don't feel like using an exfoliator, I will use this with my facial cleanser and just very gently use it on my face. 
I lost the batteries, so I just use it like manually now. And this just helps to smooth my skin out so it's not so dry and flaky. I still really enjoy using this. It's really nice for like a deep clean without being too harsh. Um, so yeah, I still love using that one. But when I do want to use an actual exfoliator, I have been loving the Frank Body Gentle Creamy Face Scrub. This is so good because it doesn't strip my skin of all its oils, like most exfoliators tend to do. Because this one has some natural oils in it, it just kind of leaves your skin feeling like baby soft. And it's so good, and I love the smell of it because it's caffeine. I don't exfoliate too much because obviously I don't want to, you know, increase the sensitivity even more. Um, I probably exfoliate maybe once or twice a week, depending on how my skin is going. I really like this. If you have super sensitive skin and you want to try an exfoliator, definitely recommend the Frank Body one because it's not harsh. And of course, sunscreen is very, 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 very important when you're on Accutane because your skin is so much more sensitive to the sun. Um, and I have so many different sunscreens, but my favorite at the moment is the La Roche Posay No White Marks 50 SPF Very High Protection Ultra Light. Holy moly, this is a massive title. I like this because it's a spray. I can use it on my body and it's really lightweight. I hate the feeling of super heavy, thick sunscreen on your face. I don't think anyone likes that feeling. So I love this because I just spray it into my hand three times and then pop it on my face. It blends in like that and it's just beautiful. You can get La Roche Posay at Priceline as well. It's a little bit pricey, but La Roche Posay is really, really nice. So I'm very happy with my skincare routine at the moment. It's working really nicely for my skin. My skin feels better than ever. It is so clear. I'm so happy. But as you can see, my skin has gotten so much better. I'm still in awe of myself. <laughs> so make sure if you are interested in checking out all the shop back details, you take a look at the description box below. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in my next one.